All right, in this short video, I'm going to introduce an incremental method you might want to consider using to display your collections, to share your stories about your metal detecting finds. So stick around. All right, if you're like me and you've been metal detecting for a few years, your finds will quickly add up. And, you know, many of us are struggling with, you know, where and how do I display my finds? Maybe you have an opportunity to build a display shelf. I've also seen plenty of people use display tables as a way to kind of highlight their finds. But if you don't have those opportunities, or if you're just looking for an incremental way, something different that you can use to um, display your finds, I want to share with you something I came across a while ago. This is actually a photo book from a company called Snapfish. You can use Snapfish or any company for that matter, but what I'm going to introduce to you is something that I did, oh gosh, a little over a year ago, and I just finished my second version of what I'm calling a photo book. We're going to go ahead and do a live opening. I'll show you a little bit of the book and talk a little bit about where and how I had this particular book made. All right, here's what I received in the mail today. This is how it was packaged. I'm not sure if I ordered two or three copies. I can't recall. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open and we'll take a look at it together. All right, so here's what we're looking at. I actually ordered three of these, okay? And let me just quickly say, I took advantage of a coupon that they drop a few times a year that offered a 70% discount. So I think my actual cost of, of uh, the book here I'm about to show you was about $35, $37 a piece. Pretty reasonable, I think, given the quality. But let's just take a look at a couple of the pages here. And again, this is from 2022. So in a minute, I'm going to show you the software I used to make this. But what you can see here is that I've compiled a bunch of photos right, of my different events that I attended, some of my finds, some information about some of the videos that, you know, I posted, and where it made sense, where it was relevant. You, you'll see I even include a little information, maybe, a backstory behind some of the photos. So what I think is this is just a wonderful way, okay, to catalog, combine, display, Tell the stories about your finds, your collections, uh, et cetera. And this is the second of these that I have created. My first one, um, I also used through Snapfish. Uh, it was for a longer period of time, okay? But very similar in terms of approach, you know, the objective, the layout here, okay? So these are wonderful products. They're incremental ways to display your finds. I'm going to show you here a little bit now about the software because you might be wondering, you know, geez, how difficult was this to create? How easy is this? Could I do this? That kind of a thing. You're going to see it was very user friendly. All right. To begin, I go to snapfish.com. I'm going to access the cloud based software. You can see there's a bunch of options on the menu here. You can integrate your photos right from your device, choose the different layout options that you're interested in. Change your background, add images, um, graphics, that kind of a thing. What I'm going to show you here is how easy it is to swap out a photo. So you can see me and my buddy Pete Sorrell there. And I'm going to click on another photo and I'm going to exchange Steph in lieu of Pete. There you go. Also, some pages have four photos. Others have two. If you want to change the layout, you simply choose your layout, click and drag. And there you go. It's that simple. Very easy to use. Okay, there you go. I hope that was helpful. Ping me if you have any questions. And also, I would love to see photos and descriptions of how you display your finds. So if you have an incremental approach, if you found a really cool, unique way to display your finds, a particularly cool case or whatever, send those to me if you would, please. I may feature those in an upcoming video. You can email those to thehistorydigger at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.